I'm like blown away by how fun the Lexus is to drive on a back road. Welcome back, I'm Tedward. Welcome to my 2023 Lexus GX 460 with the naturally aspirated 4.6 liter V8. And welcome to a rainy day out here in upstate New York. We're heading out, or I'm heading out to uh, Hudson, New York. It's a cute little town needed to get out of the house for a couple of days. It's a nice place to stay, but I figured I'd take you on a rainy drive out here on some back roads. And this is one of the reasons I love my Lexus because the Honda is fantastic. I love the Honda, the Civic Type R, great daily driver. But in inclement weather, the Lexus is so insulating. In fact, we can even quiet this up a little more when we pull the little sunroof cover out. I'll leave it out anyway, just for the ambiance. And we get a little extra light for it. But honestly, it's really nice when you're driving in crummy weather in a big insulated Luxo barge and having this SUV has really made these types of trips simpler, easier, lower stress. But more importantly, I threw out my back. I have a pretty, a pretty rough back injury right now. I was at the gym the other day. I'm a runner and I started lifting a little bit in the last couple months and it's been going really good but maybe I bit off a little more than I should have in terms of the frequency of my gym visits. Maybe I gotta let myself recover a little more because I had kind of weakened my lower back, just the lower back muscles. Well, I'm in my mid thirties now and um, yeah, sometimes a sneeze really <laughs> changes your week. But no, I was, I was doing flat bench press with a couple of dumbbells and I was fine. I, I just was putting a weight down. I leaned forward and put the weight down to the side and felt a big pop in my lower right side. And I knew, I knew that was gonna be a couple weeks of recovery right there. The pain was excruciating. Um, I managed to get home. Of course, it was the one day, the one day I drove the Honda to the gym. So every time I had to clutch in or adjust uh, was really rough. And I pretty much just left it in third and just got myself home with some ice some ibuprofen and a flat floor. Sleeping in my bed has been tough, but man, this is where this Lexus has just been a godsend because I've got a ton of lumbar support. It's a comfy seat. I've got nice heated seats, which I've been able to use kind of as a heating pad on this little drive. It's only about three hours to get out to where I'm going, but three hours sitting down when your back is in really rough shape can be bad. But anyway, some other things I love about this car, headlights best headlights in the game man. don't need them right now other than the fact that I need I mean I need them they need to be on we got to use headlights when our windshield wipers are on but they're not illuminating the road necessarily but at night fantastic even in inclement weather and I think this Lexus has the beefiest the beefiest windshield wipers I love the look of them I love how strong they feel and you know what I'm talking about when you drive a car that has kind of wimpy looking windshield wipers when you get in a car that looks like it can lift 100 pounds with the wipers, that's what is cool. The brakes could always be a little better on these Lexuses. I have a feeling I'm gonna waste these rotors really quickly. So far, I've been in the car for two hours and 14 minutes. We've done 21.1 miles per gallon. Now, a lot of that's kind of undulating up hills and down hills. So if you, if you play your cards right and you play the speeds right, then, um, can get reasonable fuel economy. See, these people don't put their headlights on, man. Like Toyota, I know you have auto headlights that should go on. It's insane. People just like intentionally keep their headlights off. It drives me nuts. I mean, we can see them. It's okay. But on the highway, sometimes you get all of the vapors. The vapors. <laughs> oh boy, I got the vapors. You get all the, the, the mist and water coming off the trucks, kind of blowing up off the ground and the tires and you can't always see people you need those rear tails and a lot of daytime running lights don't run rear tails oh, man this is the stuff i as much as i want to live in the city and have like a social life where i can walk out of my apartment or condo and just be at a bar or a restaurant and see people i feel way more at home out here and that's so frustrating because there's just nothing out here and i know if i bought a place out here I would love the scenery. I would love the roads. Look how clean this road is. Imagine if my reviews were out here. I wouldn't have to like avoid potholes. This is great. 
Always some interesting car culture out here. Pretty good. But, oh my God, look at this corner. This is the stuff, man. Not Lexus stuff, but Honda stuff for sure. Porsche stuff. Just tough to find a place that fits the bill. This is why you got to get rich and have multiple homes. You get your little city flat. And you get your country place. Throw big parties out of the farm. Everyone comes out for, oh, look at how cool this is. If you veer off, <laughs> that is like Dukes of Hazard level. Man, these roads are gorgeous. Who knew? I was unaware when I started filming. I didn't know I was going to take you out to some cool roads. This would have been a good M5 trip too. So the M5 story, my E39 M5, this is great. That car really just needs a suspension refresh. I don't know how deep I want to go on it yet. Because you can do everything, right? You can, you know, it definitely needs struts and springs for sure. But do you do, look at this river. That, that's got to get pretty high. Now I'm starting to think about everyone's insurance. We're like, what's the flood risk? Would they even insure that house if I bought it? It needs struts and springs. Do you go as far as doing all the control arms and bushings and, you know, we're dropping subframes and all that stuff. So I think I should just do all of it. Oh, squirrel. He lived. He lived. Yes. Oh, that little jolt I just did. Um, yeah, that might have set me back another 48 hours on my back. <laughs> Thank you, little squirrel. Holy cow. All right. I'm like blown away by how fun the Lexus is to drive on a back road. I gotta come out here with my other cars. KDSS doing some work. It always feels like, man, we must be right at the edge. And you start to remember, you're like, because my brain is tailored to like sports cars, right? So you think like, oh, you can carry a little speed in this corner. And then you start to hear the auditory feedback from the front axle. And you're like, ah, these tires are pretty much at the end of their grip. A great design piece of the Lexus is the rear wiper. It descends from the top, so it pushes down. So it's not living here and trying to push up, which right now doesn't matter. But in the winter, when you've got snow, it's phenomenal because it pushes the snow down. It doesn't have to like bust up that motor and just get stuck trying to lift a bunch of snow. It's just, it's using gravity to work with it. That's clever stuff. We like that. Burn barn in a f oh burn ban, <laughs> okay. So I'm illiterate. Got it. Oh, we're on Route 66. Come on! I had no idea. That's cool. in the pass. Uphill pass in the GX is a little bit of a risky move, but you do have power up top. It does it does it does climb nicely with the reps. So they do feel underpowered. I mean, this has the same power as my Civic Type R. It just weighs a lot more. <laughs> and it's got to have drivetrain loss through all four wheels.
Welcome to Hudson, New York. This is like a cute little town. There's lots of cool restaurants, breweries. There's lots of artists and stuff that come here. This is kind of one of those little like away from Manhattan oases. There's a train that'll come here. So you get people who have this as kind of like their, their, their relaxing place to be outside of the city. A lot of places like little farm houses and stuff people build and uh, it's a it's a cool spot if you want to just kind of get away from the craziness of the city and have a mild getaway that doesn't have to be so far away you don't have to go up to like you know northern Vermont for this this is pretty accessible I'm looking forward having a nice cocktail and a good meal and unfortunately not running but gonna rest my back <laughs> that's really where I'm at and there's a great view of the Hudson River ahead which is kind of one of the most fun parts about this place is that you get such a, a a scenic view of the Hudson River outside of the city so I think that's gonna do it for me, thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll park behind this cool sequoia. That's nice. Don't forget to respect the drive. Use your cars to go places. That's what they're for. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.